Hello, Maxime. Thank you for joining me for today's student interview. Tell me, how are you today and where are you calling from? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Um, and I'm calling from Lisbon today. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. So let's just dive right into it. And before we begin, let's just rewind a bit. And could you tell me how was your life or what was the driving force within you that let you say, hey, I won the program. This is the perfect program for me. Basically, why did you join the Source Hacker program? So basically, um, I come from a really, really poor family. I've been uh, raised up in 12 different foster families because my parents weren't capable of raising me. And then I was like this kid that was just an extra to every family and I got my school degree and then um, all of a sudden I was 16. Well, first I was 11. And I got scattered to be a model. And um, I started that. But of course, I couldn't combine because they wanted me to go to Paris, to and claim, blah, blah. And I just couldn't combine all of that. So um, one of my foster families told me, like, you got to finish your school first right now. And um, so that's what I did. And um, then when I was 16, 17, and 18, I got scouted seven times again to become a model. And I actually gave it a go. I didn't make any money for three years. I had an average income of 10 euros a month. And all of a sudden there's this one agency and they want to give it one more try. And I said, yo, I don't work. Don't waste your money, just don't do it. And they kept pushing so much, I gave it one try. So that's when I went sky high and I've been working as a high end top model for the last 10 years. Um, really successfully. I did five countries a week. Um, I worked a lot. I traveled a lot. I saw things that I could never imagine ever seeing. And then there was this point where, first of all, I lost a lot of money. Like I spent it on stupid things. Like it was a weird behavior. Um, and then um, as well, like my relationship didn't really work. And um, then after, um, I wanted to grow over that point that I couldn't grow anymore, you know, because I felt like I was stuck to this point. And I mean, I was doing great. I have, you know, I still had an average income of like 5K a month, 6K a month. So like that was like already from where I come from, it's already like a really big win. Um, but I want to go over that. And there's this obstacle here that I don't know what to do with. And I think Source Hacker is exactly what's training that. So that's basically why I want to do this. Very, very cool. Yeah. Um, I can see that you're a model now. You know, you always post on the show every day. So, so thank you so much. I have much. no for today, though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that story with us, though. And yeah, I can relate because, you know, with Source Hacker, um, it's not all about you know, manifesting this and manifesting that, even though that's a very big part of the program as well. But it's also about breaking that glass ceiling that you're talking about, because we realize there's little things that we do in our everyday life that actually self-sabotages our goals and our actions. So I totally understand where you're coming from, basically. So what you're trying to say is you join the course to break that glass ceiling right and to yeah, get over that self-sabotage exactly yeah. lovely so tell me during your experience thus far in the course um do you feel like with the tools and techniques and the advice given by peter thus far it's still like a, a work in progress right but thus far do you feel like some of your matters in this progress has been addressed yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I've dealt with resistance <laughs> incredibly. Um, you just notice, like, you just wake up and you're like, maybe I don't meditate today. I'm, I'm just not into it today. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe tomorrow again. And if you give in to that, that's exactly giving in to the resistance you have. So it's all about breaking through those thoughts that are keeping you away from getting what you want in life, right? And mm -hmm. um, I, well, I, I stopped modeling a little bit. I got a full-time job because I needed to come back to me. And 
breathe a little bit and just see what I wanted. Um, I got a lot what I wished and what do you want then? So I needed that coming back to myself a little bit. And um, yeah, um, I didn't have any jobs because my hips got a little bit bigger. So uh, <laughs> it was hard for me to get any jobs. And I didn't have any job for the last six months. In that week, I started source hacker. Mm -hmm. I started jobs again wow and um i did seven jobs since i started to program and i gained um well 11.5k how awesome so, is that uh, congratulations first of all pretty okay i guess <laughs> awesome yeah right okay so i have some of your wins and your screenshots from the group and if it's okay with you can we just read some of it because it's truly inspiring yes uh, Absolutely. Okay, lovely. All right, so let's see. The first one I have here. Okay, maybe let's go with this one first. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Okay, so um, I'll just read it out, right? So, hey, hope everyone's doing great. I'm just sharing since I have completed week one and I would like to share some of your wins. So you say you are not affected by other people and their emotions, made an extra 1,000 euros, sat through all your resistance, which you feel a lot, meditated daily, started intermittent fasting, which you feel good, started to eat healthier, started holosync next to the course, and you have been more relaxed and shining. People start to look up when you walk into the office. By the way, I think people just look up because you're beautiful. It had nothing to do with the course. <laughs> All right. So let's just you look at it. So when it's like when that happens more like I had this one day where I walked into the office and yeah. um I mean every day you see these people you say head high to them and then this one day you you're doing all your work and you're working through your distance and just like ten people in a row give you a wink like it's like <laughs> Your confidence, right? Your confidence is shining through. Right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. lovely. You know what? Let's talk about the first win because this is um, really interesting. You say that you are not affected by other people and their emotions. Like, as you know, as we all know, it's one of the biggest struggles in life, you know, not to be affected by other people. Uh, the only people we are in charge of is indeed ourselves. So, can you please elaborate on this? What parts of Peter's advice or any tools or techniques that you have remembered from the course that has helped you with this? Can you tell me? So basically, um, I, I, I deal a lot with um, jealousy from people mm -hmm. and... Um, it's just like insecurity of their own, really. So, I don't know. A day that I look great, um, I can have people that are actually really insecure about themselves mm -hmm. walking up to me and say things that make me feel super bad. Mm -hmm. And I always get affected by it so badly. Or just someone that just, I don't know, can, sh can stand your shine or something and just says something to ruin that incredibly. And... I always like, I end up crying my bad and people don't realize, I think like my features in my face are quite strong. And when I put a little bit of makeup on, I look quite confident and cool and I keep my cool often. But when I come home, I break down and people don't realize what they do to people in their lives, mm -hmm. you know? And um, I got affected by it so bad. I would be on the phone with my dad, like a lot crying like why do people do this why are people so mean why does that happen to me like what is going on like I would like not dress up to parties or things because mm -hmm. I felt like I, I wasn't allowed you know and um, just because of people their reactions like it was quite harsh for me and um, then all of a sudden I started Holosync which is one of the recommendations to Source Hacker and um it's 30 minute med meditations for people that don't know and um for 14 days and then you start one hour a day and um i just became more relaxed and this person came walking up to me and made this comment towards me and normally i would feel so 
insecure, I would freeze, I wouldn't know what to say. And all of a sudden I look up and I say, I think you need to turn it down a little. And if you have anything you want to talk about today, you're welcome, but don't give me this attitude. And actually, like, I went to the bathroom, I was like, did I just say that? Like, that's so weird. Mm-hmm. And that just happened um, because you're in another state, I guess. Excellent. That is very, very yeah. nice. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> lovely, lovely. All right. So <laughs> one more I'd like to talk about. Um, perhaps it's this one. Okay, it's not this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this was on the 17th of January. So like basically the festive season, like coming out of the festive season. And you're saying yeah. you finished week one, you gained 3.5K. You started your own business, got back into your daily routines. Everything I did them because I wanted to and not because I felt like I had to do them. And this is the part that I really like, right? You say it feels good to be back. You did weeks one to three. Then you dropped out partly because life got in the way and partly because of resistance. Now, what I admire about that fact is even though you're having all these wins, you're still portraying that, you know what, you are human and this is a work in progress. And, you know, like Peter says as well, perfection We cannot strive for perfection because perfection means it's done and there's nothing more to do. So that's what I absolutely love about your posts and your inspirations because it really does inspire others like, hey, even though you're having these wins, it's good to celebrate the little wins, but just know it's never going to be done, right? It's never going to be perfect. You always have to strive. What I uh, lastly like to talk about is your resistance because you say you've had a lot of resistance and you still do have some sort of resistance. Can you talk about maybe a tool or technique in the course that is helping you overcome this resistance? Uh, um, I have to be very honest with you. Um, Mm -hmm. Everything that is helping me to go through resistance is the ability to recognize it Mm -hmm. and to outsmart myself Mm -hmm. so whenever um actually this morning i had a lot of resistance i did my whole thing 30 minutes and i was like i do not want to do this i had not the greatest night of sleep and i just had this continuous uh feeling like um i don't want to do this Mm -hmm. i don't want to do it and now I recognize that being resistant. And um, so like I do every day my meditation. Uh, for now, I have to do three times this week, but I did five already. So I said, okay, you're not into it. You're going to finish the meditation. You don't have to go as hard, mm-hmm. but you're still going to do it. Mm-hmm. And um, it's, yeah, it's being your own parent partly. It's mm-hmm. outsmarting yourself, recognition of what is resistance. I love that. And you know, You really know it. Um, If, I mean, people have these excuses, right? Like I had this one person at work and he said, I want to lose weight, but I'm not sure what to do. And I said, so what kind of exercise are you doing? And he said, none. I was like, so what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, I'm busy. I was like, this is just excuses. Mm -hmm. Like you're just not want to do it because there's some underlying thing going on and you got to recognize what that is in order to overcome that because it's not going to work or help you lose weight you realize Mm -hmm. and he said he gave me this look like i know you solved my problem but i don't like that you solved my problem (laughs) and and he was like i know like he he was already knowing it you know so you know when resistance you know when there's excuses i like i want is big ego talk right so anywhere where you say i don't want i want this it's ego talk so Mm -hmm. you really have to like you know uh step aside from that and make a rational choice and i have to say with the meditation and the whole process of going through my memories and stuff help you to ease first of all Mm -hmm. because I was very anxious when I started the program and that lowered down with like over 80 percent for Mm -hmm. sure and being in a more state at like more at ease state is going to help you to 
also see those things and see it happening within you, you know, and give you the ability to make another choice. And with my colleague, I said, okay, so you don't have time. Do you want to do a challenge together? 25 jumping jacks where you stand up, one minute plank before you go to bed. It doesn't take, it takes less than two minutes Mm -hmm. a day. If you do it every day, it's going to work on your body because you're being consistent. So you're Mm going to have results. Do you think you're going to do that? And we're actually doing that right now. And he says he already sees results. He cannot believe that that's only less than two minutes a day. He cannot believe that he was saying he didn't have any time. Like, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Excuses. Excuses, you're right, is basically like the resistance that our subconscious comes up with. Very nice. Very, very cool. Awesome. Uh, All right. (laughs) All right. So tell me, what is one of your favorite modules in the course or what technique from the course that you really enjoy doing? And yeah, could you tell me like some of your favorites that you really love from the course? So, well, I have this thing where I, I mean, I love the feeling being in love. Um, And uh, with the meditation of Source Hacker, you have to do like the second part is gratitude. Mm -hmm. So you have to go up in your gratitude and just see all the things you're grateful for. And to be honest here, Lisbon, I have a great community. I have, um, I love my job. Um, The weather is beautiful. Um, Actually, one of my new wins is I'm moving to a new apartment. Congrats. Um, thank you um so i'm really loving everything here so much the food the people the vibe so every day you just go into this mm, gratitude (laughs) and from that amazing things happen but i do love this gratitude kind of practice because it works miracles Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. All right, Maxime. And last question of the day. Tell me, would you recommend Source Hacker to others? Absolutely. Um, I would. um, The thing is that um, a lot of people are in different states in their lives. And um, simply not everybody's ready to do this kind of work. It's it's not easy. It's not going to be like... um, magic easy let's do one meditation and all my things are going to be so it's really hard work so i mean it's for everybody for sure but you need to be able to take that challenge and actually Mm -hmm. do it you know so um yeah i mean i see a lot of people that are not in that state yet but then yeah i also see a lot that are in that already so i would i would recommend recommend to everybody just give it a try just one try because your life can change for so so much greater you know for everyone so yeah very very cool yeah so just to reiterate a little bit on that point right it's like basically you know somebody who wants to lose weight so they go to the sportswear shop and they buy a treadmill But they buy the treadmill and expect the treadmill to do all the work for them. And then they're like, oh, this doesn't work. I'm going to return the treadmill. But of course, you need to get on the treadmill for it to work. So it's basically like the cost as well. If you do not put in the effort, just like everything else, you're never going to see the results. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Maxime, thank you so much for today's interview. And yeah, we really appreciate all your input. Please continue to post all your wonderful inspirational stuff because besides others, Mm -hmm. I know it really, really motivates me and as well as Peter. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much. Wish you all the best on your new apartment, your job and everything else. Thank you. Have a lovely, lovely day. (laughs) Thank you so much. You too. Bye.